Today in this video, here's what we're gonna cover. We're gonna cover the most important questions that you should be asking or that you already have asked. I'm gonna walk you through the alteration process so that you feel supported, you feel like you're looking forward to it, you feel knowledgeable and confident, like you could go to any seamstress I hope you're coming to Ava's, obviously. I'm gonna break this down for you, and by the end of this video, you're gonna be like, Sue, girlfriend. I know how busy your life is right now, so I'm gonna get right to it. These are the top four things you should be asking your seamstress as you're going through alterations. You do wanna say yes to the dress and get your dress, although I think it's smart to watch this video all the way to the end and then go dress shopping. There's no right or wrong of timing. Just know that you want your dress. We're also going to cover some pain points and common mistakes towards the end of the video. If I were to just throw everything on you that I want to cover, you wouldn't even want to finish the video. You'd just be like, ugh, like I need a bottle of wine to get through this whole thing. And that's because alterations are very much a case by case basis. You see a lot of businesses are like, well, I need to take a look at it before I can really do that. And that is so true. So that's why a lot of places struggle with giving information because it's like, Yes, so much of it is seeing the dress in person because we can see how the dress is put together. We can open it up, see how the seams are laid together. If it's lace, beaded lace, cotto, satin, chiffon, all those different fabrics run differently through the machines. They take different amounts of time and skill sets. We have a team here at Ava's and we even have seamstresses that are like, mm -mm, I don't do bustles or mm -mm, I don't do beading or mm -mm, I'm not good at that. And we've been doing this for a long time. You know, I'm the youngest on our team. Go ahead and tell you that up front. And I'm still like, I'm amazed at how much I've taught my team and how much they teach me. Oh my goodness, I have learned so much from the incredible women that I've worked with over the years. I haven't worked with many male tailors, so if you know somebody, you know, send them on over. <laughs> Just kidding. Even though there's not a one size fits all process and alterations that applies to every bride, you are learning how things work and why things work the way they do. We do offer digital services. Many of you don't live in the area. You're gonna wanna know that. I actually had a bride today. Her name is Jordan. She lives in New York. She found the sleeve video that you can search on our channel and reached out to me on Facebook. And now we're working with her. We're gonna save her a ton of money and ton of time by helping her digitally from home. Girlfriend. Yes, all day long. Before we get started, go ahead and push that subscribe button because you know I'm gonna be giving you weekly videos every single Wednesday at 6 p.m. and ring the bell for notifications. That way I can send you all those little goodies every single week. You might see four to five months here on the slide and already I may have triggered you into stress mode. If you don't have four to five months before your wedding date, just know that we are set up and ready to make this a very positive experience. You are not gonna feel stressed. Just go ahead and get started. When it comes to cost, you are seeing on our channel that we're telling you basic is five to 700 plus tax. That's the average and that's nationwide. And we're also gonna be able to go up from there. So with undergarments, for example, a lot of brides add petticoat and bra, but some don't. And then when you are adding those undergarments in, you wanna factor that into a separate number. Let's take custom changes, for example, adding sleeves, changing the pattern, dropping the neckline, moving the back. Those types of alterations are a separate number in addition to as well. So if that already sends you into stress, send me a message, let me know. You can even search on our channel, cost of adding sleeves or custom changes, and we can go over more of that together. When it comes to how many fittings to expect, my answer is gonna be different if you're doing basic alterations versus custom. So for basic alterations, our goal is one to two fittings. And that's because typically that's your goal. You want to have as few fittings and time off work as possible, but then we meet those brides that would like to come in more often. So depending on you, plan on that goal. With custom alterations, it definitely takes more. So I'm going to have some tips for you later on how to make the custom alterations a lot easier. Many of you are coming to us because you know Ava's is the expert, the planner. You know that we're going to use an organized process to lead you through it with non-judgmental support, lots of expertise, a team atmosphere. We're not the most expensive. We're definitely not the cheapest. We're right there in the sweet spot. We're moderately priced. Our company culture is very educational, supportive, and we're just nice people, especially during the pandemic. 
2020 has definitely presented more challenges to an already stressful process, but thanks to you and other brides, we've gotten a lot of experience through the pandemic and have made this such a positive experience thanks to you. When it comes to how long it takes between each visit, we I would estimate four to six weeks between each visit, but see if you have that short time frame, four to six weeks won't work. So in that case, we will definitely shorten the time frame for you. And it doesn't mean that there's extra cost. It just means we need to get started. We need to make, make that plan that we'll do in person. And a lot's gonna happen in that first fitting. In this conversation, I'm not gonna go too deep into custom alterations because I've got other videos on our channel, but I do wanna show you here with the design meeting. One to two weeks, after you purchase your dress, set up a design meeting if you're doing custom changes. You're also going to want to meet your seamstress, get those fabrics ordered, and get any cost questions and everything answered one-to-one. -one. It's a lot to try to do all when you're saying yes to the dress. Just enjoy that day and then come back in and meet with us. We'll get everything together. When it comes to what to bring to your fittings, I'm going to give you the short answer. Dress, money, and shoes. <laughs> When it comes to your bra, some of you have questions about accessories, heirloom pieces, and other fun projects that you have. Let's book your appointment, and once you do, log into the client tools. In there, I've got a creative checklist of things to bring. When you see that sheet, there's so many more creative ideas that we'll cover together. If you wanna send me a text message, I'd love to do a planning call with you. We can talk about things, you can show them to me, you can do Zoom, whatever works for you, and that way you can have everything ready, bring it to your fitting, and we'll make it super fun. If you're on a short timeline, rush delivery is going to be the answer. You're going to see on our website that there's rush fees. You're going to hear that at other places as well. You will not always be required a rush fee. We are very process driven. We save tons of time for our brides and many of you come to us because we are the time saver. So most of you will not pay rush fees unless you're doing something really, really fast. So I recommend clicking on the out of town bride travel guide. If you don't live close to the store or you just want to check it out to see what are the pain points that past clients have had. Even if you're not coming on a plane or out of state, if you don't live close, you will appreciate the tips that we're sharing with you in the travel guide. I'm always teaching our clients and staff that alterations are not the sexy part of the dress buying experience. It's typically the part that you're not as excited to do. Just think about purchasing your dream car. You know, you get to test drive it and you get your hair in the wind and you're like, oh my goodness, it smells like leather and got the heated seats. And you're like, oh yeah, I'm bougie, I got it. But then you get to the service department and you're like, You know, like, where did, all the, where did all the glitter go? Another pain point can be a strict budget. The solution is to create the look for less. But let's say you're trying to spend two to $300, even though I'm teaching you that the averages are five to $700, you can accomplish that. And I recommend we do a virtual quote. In the virtual quote, I'll be working with you one-to-one. -one. I'll create a digital preview that you can share with your decision makers. I'll be talking specifically to you with your dress. I share cost-saving tips that I can show you on how to create the look for less. But keep in mind, if you're wanting to keep your costs below the averages, that's going to mean some decisions are going to have to be made. Sometimes you can't create a look for less, but I will share tips with you and it'll be well worth the investment. You're also going to love having text message support from us. So yes, you're going to meet with your alterations manager who's in the store working pretty flexible with her, with her hours and her days. You're going to have customer care and alterations. And then you're also going to have me as part of that process. If you're having an issue or you just need a second set of eyes or if you're worried about something, you can communicate that to me. We can get on a quick phone call together. We can meet in person. We'll be able to do whatever it is that we need to do to support you. This is so much information. If you're still with me, drop a wine glass in the comments below. <laughs> when you go through the process, you're gonna see that a lot of this doesn't apply to you, but at least you know how things work and why. A lot of brides are nervous about speaking up and just saying, hey, like I'm not feeling confident in this. I don't know that we're communicating on the same level. And you have access to me. You can text me and let me know those things. I get involved and the pers the people that you've been working with, they appreciate the team atmosphere. So it's not like they're like, oh, so you called Sue. Okay, so you, I'm not good enough, so what? No, that's actually not our mentality. Our team atmosphere is more like, Sue is really strong in this area, but she's really weak in these areas. This person is really strong and weak in these areas. And then we are a team that is working for your good. That's why I love a team.
no shade to home-based businesses. I started there, I was an independent solopreneur, I get that. Why I love working with a team is you get diversity and personality, you get diversity and skill set. The amount of talent that's brought to the table, you get to have that. Another tip that will help you here and other businesses is the scheduling. Here we use Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays because those are the best days you prefer. And over history, we have narrowed it down to what are the top three days that our clients want to book. That On the website, I'm telling you what's special about Thursday and Friday, and then I'm also telling you what's special about Saturday. So as you're booking, you're going to be able to see all those tips from me, and that way you can decide, is it worth it to do weekday or weekend? At some point in the process, I'm going to be collecting a $50 alterations appointment deposit. It is not a fee. And as long as you plan on doing business with us, hopefully you've spent some time with me here asking all your questions and you feel comfortable with me. Once you've made the decision that yes, I'm gonna be working with Sue and the Ava's Bridal team, you're gonna be paying that deposit before you actually come see us because 60% of what we do for you is planning and our experience and our expertise. And there is so much planning that goes into the front end of it so that the back end is smooth fast, easy, and you're not taking off a million times from work. If you prefer to go straight to the website to book your appointment, feel free to write your questions in the comment box. I will read them and get right back to you. Or you can reach out to me in a direct message and I'd love to walk you through it. I'm going to link all my contact information in the description of this video because I want you to save my information in your phone. I want to know how you're doing. Do you need to get booked? Because I'm ready. Let's do this. I love that you feel a little bit more prepared and you kind of know how to communicate now what you want. You do not have to know all the terms and the professional vocabulary. You don't need to know how it works. You just need to go in knowing a bit of the basics and just having that ability to speak the language will make you feel so much more at ease. And guess what? Any good seamstress, any good alterations manager and any good bridal alteration business is going to appreciate that you speak her language or his language. There's nothing wrong with going in with confidence and feeling like you can handle the whole alterations department. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really glad I got this quality time with you, but most importantly, comment below and tell me where you are in the process. Are you newly engaged, just found this video? Are you an Avis bride and you're just like kind of getting started? Tell me how you're doing. I can't wait for you to meet Tammy, especially. You are gonna love meeting her, but I also want you to meet our whole team. You're gonna start the process with me. We're gonna do this together. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. If you like educational videos like this, give it a thumbs up and comment below. I love reading your comments, but you can also search our channel for more topics on bridal and alterations. And there's a million other small questions that if I gave them all to you right now, you'd be like, ugh, I just, yeah. But after this video, you're going to feel so much more prepared with all of the things.